Gunding wants to cross the Black Forest. Now Siegmund will oppose it. There's too much hate between the two of them. Siegmund is a just and loyal warrior. Only the ferocity of the Vikings will lead us into war. <laughs> if you are so fond of Sigmund, why be so demonstrative? You might save our father such pain. Your behavior is augmenting his prestige, showing such hatred towards Sigmund, because he has refused you. Why these endless disputes, my daughters? Watch out. They've stopped. not try to cross the forest with your warriors. Remember our agreement. Should you not cross the forest, I'll keep my word to conduct you and your men on to the east, through the well-known routes and direct byways to the Orient. I said move. I shall go the way I want to. And right now. No, Hunding. You gave your word. And if you break it, you will have to prove your worth against my sword. Keep calm, Hunding. Don't kill him. Remember. Without his help, we're lost. I agree, Sigmund. Now respect our pact. But someday I'll have my revenge. Our agreement will come to an end. Then I'll be free for combat. I'll be there, Sigmund. Forward! Let's set up camp! Sigmund stopped him. The Vikings are making preparations to settle. I am reassured now. Let's go back. Of your mind, Erica. Yes, and you're responsible for it. I hope this would never happen between us. I've been trying to make it clear to you, but you don't want to be told that I do not love you and that I won't ever love you. And now leave at once and don't ever come near me again. Oh, oh no. Pardon me. Pardon me. I'm not as bad as you think. Don't throw me out, please don't. You're the only one I desire in the world. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. You love me because I refuse you. It isn't love that makes you cry so. It's only pride. No, you're wrong. You'll never know what you are to me. I'll do anything you want. Listen now. Hunding won't pardon you. He's already planning his revenge. I could use his love. If it's convenient to you, I can warn you. I know how to manage him. You, how false you are. How can you imagine me hiding behind the falseness of a woman? Your treachery is equal to Hunding's. Go back to where you belong. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you with all my strength. And you'll have to pay one day. Yes, you'll have to pay dearly, you and my sister Sigmund. You are not worthy to pronounce her name. Go away. Uh, oh, I want to kill you. Uh. Try not to harbor so much rancor, and I will try to pardon.
Why didn't you forbid the entrance to Erica? Uh, I was looking for the horse's father. We were both looking for the horse's father. Excuse us. Will you receive Gunnar and Manfred? Let them come in. I've just seen Erica going away. What happened? She's in the habit of getting possession of all she wishes. Try being more understanding. You ought to know how difficult it is. My two daughters hate each other because of you. But I did not come here for that reason. The reaction of Hunding to your affront is distressing to me. I hold you in great esteem, Sigmund. You and all your valorous family. For this reason, I advise you to hide in the forest. We have no possibility of victory in the open field. I agree with the opinion of Gunnar. Better to build the defenses back in the depths of the forest. No. I think you shouldn't worry so. He's unable to attack us yet. No. He doesn't know the route to pass through the Valley of the Sun. On his own, he'd be obliged to retreat or push on through the forest. But that wouldn't be easy. I'll only be reassured when they've been led to the east. But we'll have to show caution, because the moment we are of no more use, he'll attack us. Tell me, why is it that you show such affection? Because you alone can help me to try to find a life of peace. On the day that you shall return, and if it pleases you, I will follow you. Then my daughters and I will live in the forest with you. I seek tranquility. I will no longer submit to the violence of the Vikings. Very well, Gunnar. Let us continue our pact with the Vikings. We will lead them here, to the Valley of the Sun. And with the help of Wotan, within less than five days, we'll be home again in our own forest. Then peace will surround us in all its serenity. <laughs> Hurrah! Desearía que el tiempo transcurriera más a prisa para poder volver a abrazar a mi familia y jugar con mi hijo. Todas esas cosas te las debo a ti, Segismundo. Porque tú me liberaste de una vida miserable y confiaste en mí. Y yo te estoy agradecido. No, Manfred. Un hermano. No debe hablar a otro de gratitud. Yo te debo a ti tanto como tú a mí. Oh, no hables así, que me vas a hacer llorar. Oh, cállate, cura, antes de que pierda mi paciencia. Y si la pierdes, ¿qué me vas a hacer? <risa> Anda, dime. Estas son las ventajas de ser pequeño. Mirad cómo lo agarro. Aún se mueve. Se lo entregaremos a los guardias. Ya es suficiente. Mañana hay mucho que hacer. Kur, encárgate de los caballos. Hans, tú de las carretas. Manfred, avisa a los hombres. Y cuida de las mujeres. Buenas noches, Gunnar. Hasta mañana, Segismundo. Frederick. You were a fool to stop the fight. My position was strong. Never again, never will I have such an appropriate chance. You're mistaken. You know we need him to guide us. Ah. I must fathom the reason. He's clearly blocking us. What is all this? I want to find out. There's an explanation. It must be of real importance to Sigmund. the secret of the Black Forest. I must interrogate the fire of our destiny. Do it right now. Let the winds whirl now. Demons of Sikur, filters of the memories, 
Infernal powers lighten for me the mystery. Who hasn't you Sigmund against one day? Ah, I feel the presence of a god. The god of Valhalla. Vortan! Vortan! He is speaking to two of his children, Sigmund and Brunhilde. Can you hear, Hunding? Look now, Hunding. Look now. Look now, Hunding. secret valley shall stay hidden the treasure of the Nibelungen and the mighty sword of Valhalla. And thus will lie cradled in the valley the symbol of justice for us and liberty. You are destined to guard it. You, Sigmund, will remain in the Black Forest and forbid access to whomever wishes to violate the God's passage. Many will force an entrance, but you will always watch out, aware of danger, for each one of them is an enemy. So on every sunrise, be prepared for war. You, Brunehilde, you will remain with the Valkyries, your sisters, in the Petrified Valley. And never must you wander away. You are subjected to that law. Recall my words, Brynhilde. No one should ever have possession of the treasure. No hand but ours will be allowed to touch the mighty sword of Valhalla. Because the possession of these signifies the absolute heritage, swaying the power of all peoples of the North. These, my orders, must always, always remain as such. Now you know the secret of Sigmund. He is not immortal. Once you capture him, conquest is yours. Neither the Valkyries nor his warriors will dare to attack us. It is not going to be easy to find a way to the Valley of Petrification. A circle of stone pinnacles will indicate the secret path. You proceed alone and at night. The stars will guide you. Hola.
I must find the treasure of the Nibelungen. And the sword of Wotan. Frederick! Attack the camp of Sigmund. And capture him. Bring him alive. He will live until he's brought us within reach of the treasure. Why are you hiding? I'm not hiding. I was waiting for you. So you heard everything? Uh, yes. You won't tell anyone whatever happens? Uh. <laughs> no. Now you know Sigmund's importance to me and how I hate him. Yes, I do also. But we mustn't think about him. Kiss me. We are meant for each other. Hold me tight, Hundi. You know, I'm so afraid. Sigmund's your enemy. He will show you no mercy at all. Nor any to me. Because I love you. I am the greatest of warriors, and no one has more power. Sigmund will be your slave whenever you ask. Yes. Uh. Uh. Avengers. Hunding, you're strong. I want to see him crawling. Groveling and humiliated. upsetting you. It's... It's Eric. I was afraid you wouldn't come here. No. I'm always there when you need me. You know I'll never leave you alone. When you're here, I'm so happy. You are so strong and calm. My father said that we won't separate after having led the Vikings. I, I look forward to that day. But my sister then. Time will calm her, my dearest. Near you, I forget about sorrows and war and, and horror, if only paradise could last. Bad luck. My throat now. Gunnar, why didn't you remain with the Vikings? No, I preferred to stay with you. Leave me in peace. I'm in no mood to play. Oh, all right, all right. Watch out, big head.
Llevémosle allí. <laughs> I was not sleeping merely. I heard your heart close to mine, so close. <sighs> Listen. Listen to the silence breathing. It's so quiet. Even the falling leaves are silent. So peaceful. So peaceful. It seems the whole world is so far away. Just you and I in the forest alone. When at last we're married, we'll build our house in this place. Yes. We'll build it over there and use the highest branch you see in the oak tree with all the birds to waken us. What? What's that? It's from the camp. Search for Sigmund. Sigmund. What has happened? Hunding attacked us unexpectedly. It was a massacre. We are the only survivors. Let's get back into the forest or else we'll all be killed. But weren't there any sentries? Yes, but they were taken by surprise. No one was to blame. There were too many of them. Too many, I tell you. Our warriors fought like heroes. Now all of them are dead. There is no more hope. I warned you, but you wouldn't listen. No. Hunding. Hunding. And you. Why didn't you fight, coward? Shame on you. And you. Why did you run away? Go back. Get on and fight! Stop it! We must take refuge in the forest. There's nothing you can do because now! Because of you, I abandoned camp! Oh. Sigmund, control yourself! You also are a coward! Not here. He's sure to be outside the camp with Sieglind. Every day they see each other. Do you know how important Sigmund is to me? Go find him! Find him! Find him! Even my father was outside the camp. I saw him battling against your warriors. I was sure that he would abandon you. My sister has a very strong influence over him. They've plotted a long time to overthrow you. I'll find them. They'll regret they were ever born. Fordrun. Where would Sigmund hide? In the forest. He will defend till death the path leading to the secret of the stone pinnacles. 
One thing is certain, you will meet again. He is sure to attack you. Tomorrow you can look for him. Now the cloak of night protects him. At dawn, you'll be led to what you see through the strength of my power. Sigmund. I'm sorry. It was the only way to calm you down. Hundling has found out the hidden secret of the treasure of the Nibelungen. Otherwise, he wouldn't have taken the other way. His attack was much too sudden. Sigmund, Manfred is going to die. Come. He wants you. Oh, Kurt, go and get the herbs I asked about. Yes. I'm killed by treachery, my friend. Sigmund, listen. Don't show pity to Hunding. He has to die. Otherwise, there will never be peace in the forest. When you see my wife, tell her she has all my love. And tell my only son that his father died bravely. To build his future, so that his life could be free and happy. Show courage, Sigmund, my friend, Sigmund. Warriors, from this moment on, our life is no longer of any value. The Vikings will never be allowed to approach the petrified forest. We will pursue killing and attacking until we have chased them away. far away from the valley. Whoever is afraid may leave now. I speak for all of us. I will follow you, and the others will go with us. We shall battle along with you until victory or death, I swear it. Sieglind. Your feelings are just and human. I will go with you. Gunnar. Tomorrow, we'll move camp. Yes, Sigmund. We must precede the Vikings. Sigmund! Sigmund! The Valkyries! Sigmund, Sieglind.
Manfred fought like a hero. I've come to take him to the great Valhalla. He's worthy of it. Odrun the traitor has revealed the secret of the treasure to Hunding. Invasion is now imminent. You can't help us, Brunhild. Wotan has forbidden you to fight outside of the petrified forest. If you disobey, you'll be disreputed. The past wish of our father is not fair. I want to help you. I'm able to succeed alone. The Vikings don't know the way. We'll attack them unawares. They'll die one by one. Victory will be ours. They won't even know where death is coming from. May Wotan help you, Siegmund. I'll return to the Petrified Valley. You, Sieglind, come with us. You will be safer there. No, Brunhild. My place is beside Sigmund. This is where I'll remain. Sieglind, you're right. Stay with him. And thus your love will bring you a joy that I'll never have. No, Brunhild. I'll be happy only when peace will return to my forest. Vamos. Frederick, the treasure should be in this direction. Hunding! Hunding! We find no trace of the Nibelungen.
don't need our help anymore. We can return to the horses. <laughs> the inscriptions are there to show the way. They will lead us to the petrified valley tomorrow night. Curse Sigmund. He won't escape a second time. Come on. Hundi. We've no more supplies. Kill the prisoners. Everyone. Horses. We'll go on foot. Come the Vikings! Here, posts. Quick. As soon as the Archibus attack, you give the signal.
Sigmund! Pundin defies you! If you're not a coward, come and fight! He's too sure of his own strength. The gods will surely help me. Forgive me. Stars indicate the same route. The prophecy of Odrum has not proved wrong as yet. Frederick, tomorrow we'll arrive at the petrified forest. Yes, but we've lost how many men? Better for us all. A few less men to share the treasure. <laughs> <laughs> Don't come with me when I'm fighting. No matter where you go, I'll follow always. But you're wounded. Where are the others? Move along. Move along. Are the lookouts at their posts? 
They're on top of the high cliff guarding the trail. It's wiser not to go after the enemy, but to wait for their attack. Bury our men. I shall give orders. Right away. Give me six men to bury the dead. Hurry. You must respect the will of Wotan. Why did you help? It was stronger than me. They would have killed you. If such is my destiny, I would accept it. You know what it signifies to disobey the orders of the Valhalla. Yes, I do. It signifies losing the power of a goddess. But I am already condemned to live unhappily. I must not love, never. I must not fight like a man. Besides, I'll always be alone. Brunhild, you mustn't lose heart. I'll always be beside you. I was born to solitude. You fight your war. I won't help you anymore. And may the gods assist you. Otto wishes to speak to you. Watch out, though. He's demoralizing the soldier. What do you want, Sigmund? I want to know how much hope you have of our getting away from here. You want to go? No. I wish to remain. I only wanted to say that, that the situation is desperate. You hate hunting. But you have no right to sacrifice the lives of the others. If you want to be avenged, then you must pay a reward to those who risk their lives for you. I don't wish to be surrounded by traitors. Coward! <laughs> Answer. No. I underestimated you. Please let me remain. You may join the others. attack has cost me too many men. I can't possibly fight Hunding anymore. We'll have to retreat to the petrified forest. Give us the grain we ask for. It's the last time we'll make such demands. You're aware, Sigmund, how much we have done and how gladly we would help you. But don't expect any more. Our resources have been used up and our fields destroyed. I've got to look after my warriors and horses. You'll have to ask the nomads. They're the only ones who've escaped the Vikings. Do you know where they are? In the Yellow Valley to the east. Gustav! Go and find their chief. Tomorrow I want to speak to him at sunset. Advise Sieglund that we are about to leave camp. Right. Hey, hey! to Erika. I must speak to Hunding. Come. Look around to see if there's any other Nibelungen. Frederick, tomorrow at dawn we'll march onwards.
He wants to speak to you. He comes from the camp of Sigmund. He can be very useful. We'll see. Since when have you known Sigmund? Since we were children. Tell me why you're betraying him. I prefer gold. You have more <laughs> strength. <laughs> and Sigmund's failure is obvious. You must trust me. I'll come to your camp. And I'll guide your men to capture Sigmund. I'll trust you. You capture Sigmund, and after, you can have all the gold you want. Frederick, choose men for him. What about? It's strange they haven't arrived yet. Let's wait a moment. Sigmund. But I think I have an idea. Careful. You know what's going to happen, don't you? <coughs> You're aware of the customs of the Vikings. Sigmund will be given to everyone. <coughs> While you keep calm. Your life depends on me. It will take a long time for you to die. <laughs> you traitor! Let go of him. I need him alive. I'll get back to your posts. You, come. Sigmund, no one can help you now. And also, I know the way to the valley. Why don't you kill me if you know? I'm of no use to you. Because I don't want the gods to be angry with me. And you are the son of Wotan. I'll tell you what you have to do. You will order your men not to attack us and to supply us with all the grain we ask. You won't be given anything unless you kill me. I know my people. I'll kill you when I want to. Until then, you'll do as I tell you. And finally, you will wish your death. Because tomorrow, your woman will regret that she was ever born. With these daggers, I will...
take out your eyes. Not now, though. After you've been watching Siglinda's appalling end. You understand? Think about it, Sigmund. Siglinda. If you want to be saved, try to convince Sigmund. Fly on you. He will be sorry for that. Tomorrow, you'll be seeing me for the very last time. I told you that I'd be avenged. over their tents. They won't see a thing. Good luck. Hoist away. They'll leave us alone for a few hours. I've such a great desire to look at you. For tomorrow, maybe, we'll be separated. No. Don't say such things. We won't ever, ever be without each other. Listen, what's that, Sigmund? Look! Kurt! Oh, Sigmund, what a fright you gave us. Oh, what a fright. And fasten me quickly. Now. The most difficult is to Hurry, get away. please. to all the others. Whose idea was this? Gunnar, Gunnar's idea, and our people are not far. Give me the knife. We have no time to lose. Only one of you can escape. But why, Kurt? The rope can only carry one. Go on, Ziegler. Don't touch me. If you dare touch me, I'll cry out. You have to get away. You are the most needed. You have to go. I will go. You're right, Siegland. I know they won't harm you. You're too precious a hostage, but I'll return. I'll return very soon. Wait, I have to make a signal. I hope they'll receive it. Ah, they got it. The signal. They succeeded. Why didn't you liberate Siegland too? It wasn't possible. We would have been found out. The Vikings are already in the valley. You must defend the treasure. We've no time to lose. You fool. You should have been here. I'll hang you. You'll see what it costs to trick Calm me. Calm down, Hunding. You're out of your mind. 
What good would it do me to help him to flee? <clears throat> You're the one who pays me. And when you would have discovered the treasure, you'd have given me a part. It's difficult to believe you. But I'll have How did he escape? Tell me! You find out. It's impossible. He can't have escaped. The camp is surrounded by sentinels and no one can come in or get out. I know. I know who carried out this enterprise. It could only have been Kurt, helped by Gunnar. But we'll find him. Sigmund is short of warriors. He'll seek refuge in the petrified forest. I'll go with some men and look for the provisions wanted. I'll be your scout. All right. You'll show me the way on the map. Come on. He left you. Think of that. He escaped to safety. He has betrayed you. Never. He wouldn't abandon anyone. It was I who decided he should get away. But you couldn't understand the purity of such things, for you don't know about love. And as to your fine sentiments towards Sigmund, they mean what? You only wanted to take him away from me, and you succeeded. That's why I feel nothing but hate for you, for Sigmund, for everyone. Don't speak like that, Erika. Look into your heart. Think of our father. And while you are free, go back to him. Erika, who digs bound to throw you aside? Be quiet. I hate you. You are not to come in my tent, unless I call you. Oh, but why do you treat me so, Hunting? What have I done? You're Gunnar's daughter, and your father's a traitor. If your father hadn't helped Sigmund, I would have had the treasure of the Nibelungen. My father is not a traitor, compared to you. Oh, let me go! Don't you touch her. Look at that woman, because from tomorrow on, she's the one who will replace you. Olaf! Now, now, go back with the others and work. for you. <laughs> the peasants have a lot of green. Kill them all. I will reach the petrified forest. <laughs> <laughs> shown pity for no one. We must avenge them, Gunnar. Gunnhilda! 
Sigmund and the Nibelungen have just entered the valley. Warn the sisters. We have to leave this place. I can't disobey Wotan. I mustn't. I'm sure this is the only suitable place to hold back the Vikings. Our ultimate possibility. We have no more time to lose. Move the women and children into the cave. Kurt, make sure the horses are sheltered behind the rock. Come on, everyone Take your men to the other side. Hurry, hurry! Move along, hurry up! No time to lose. Hurry! Vikings are doomed to die without one. of the Vikings. Go warn Sigmund. They're attacking. Have you finished? Well, I hope it won't be long. Will you be able to make it in one night? Uh, I'm sure I will. Sigmund, the Vikings have passed the Valley of the Eagles. Tell the archers to stand by yes, I will. and wait for my signal. All right. You know my thoughts. You're thinking of Sigrind. But at present, we can't do anything. The gods look after her. Frederick, I shall give the order. Otto, come with me. You to the right, you to the left. Advance. You showed me the right way. Where's the tree of the Nibelungans? Everything seems quiet. Nevertheless, I'm anxious. Where do you think they're hiding? In the caves over there. To arrive at the chosen tree will prove most difficult. <laughs> Nothing is difficult for me. You'd better wait. You shouldn't be so impatient. <laughs> My men will show you how the treasure can be reached. Forward! Ah! Hunger will force them out of hiding. Please listen to my advice. Don't attack. I'm the one to make decisions. And I'm going to attack. No. Wait for the best moment. They will be starved out. Hunding! Hunding! Be gone with your wounded at once. And get back where you belong. Advance! Cheek moon! Don't hide! Or I must starve you out! I won't go until you are killed! Obey. Set camp right here. <laughs> Look at me. 
coming. <laughs> Take her to my tent. <laughs> Here's the rebel who killed Olaf. You'll pay for it. I'll kill you. Los soldados se han vuelto locos. Están matando a los prisioneros. Haz algo, te lo suplico. Ahórrate tu piedad. Vuelve al campamento. Solo eres una esclava. What's that? It's certainly one of Gunnar's tricks. His tricks won't stop me. Now is the moment. Push! Push! to get you and my revenge. Are you sure the Vikings are already in the valley? Yes, quite sure. Let's go help Sigmund. Come on. It's the final attack. If we fail, everything is lost. Come. On the tenth beat of the drum, this machine will rip Siglinda into pieces. I advise you to come out immediately and surrender. Sigmund, don't think of me. You mustn't obey. Attack now! Sigmund!
You shouldn't have done it, Erika. Sigmund would have saved us. No. It is right for me to end this. I've caused harm to many. Don't speak now. Keep your strength. We will save you. I feel well. It seems just as if all the hate I had accumulated is oozing away with my life. Forgive me, Father. And you also. Forgive me, my sweet sister. Yes. Be happy. With Sigmund.
Vikings, hunting is no more. Throw away your weapons. There is no more hope now. We kill the survivors? No. War brings only hate and destruction. Liberate them all. Vikings, return to your own lands. Once safely home, try to wipe the stain of war from your memories forever. Recall that in this world, the greatest treasure to be found is love for each other and peace. And thus may you live forevermore. Where will you go, Brunhild? Don't worry, Sigmund. If you are happy, I'm happy too. Farewell, Sieglin. Thank you, Brunhild.